the news. Tomorrow's headlines today. Good afternoon, Klamath Basin. It's Thursday, May 3rd, 2018. I'm Kurt Litke with the Herald and News. Here's a quick rundown of some of the stories you can find in tomorrow's edition of the Herald and News. These are tomorrow's headlines today. A Wednesday seminar that was meant to better educate residents about non-lethal wolf deterrence and how predators impact the health and behavior of livestock instead became a debate about how local ranchers can fight back. When the floor was open to questions, residents asked how long it will be until wolves in Western Oregon are no longer listed as endangered and ranchers are allowed to legally kill them. Officials at the meeting said the federal government must first delist the wolves, then the state must choose whether or not they will allow wolves to be hunted. Skylakes Medical Center's revenue bonds have increased from A- to A based on Fitch Ratings Reviews. Fitch Ratings is one of three large nationally recognized credit rating groups in the United States. Analysts told Skylakes officials that they're among the first not-for-profit hospitals in the country to be evaluated under the agency's new 2018 criteria. Skylakes bonds were issued in 2016 to help with the new Collaborative Health Center project set for late 2019. An A rating is rare for a small, rural, standalone nonprofit hospital. In fact, it's a better rating than some health systems with billions of dollars in revenue. Long term benefits of the upgrade include reduced interest rates and better overall representation in terms of creditors and bondholders. The Year of the Bird will be celebrated during World Migratory Bird Day with a new name and a bevy of events scheduled for 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday, May 12th at Veterans Memorial Park. It's the 19th year of celebrating bird migration in the Upper Klamath Basin, known as of this year as World Migratory Bird Day, to celebrate bird corridors around the globe. Activities on 12th will include plenty of fun and educational family activities, such as face painting, making bird masks, owl pellet dissection, painting wings, making bird feeders, and much more. The annual Art of Survival Century Bicycle Ride is expanding this year, adding more opportunities to enjoy a bike ride in the basin. The event includes four rides that begin and end at the Tule Lake Butte Valley Fairgrounds in Tule Lake on Saturday, May 26th. There's a 100-mile century, 62-mile metric century, a 25-mile family-friendly bicycle ride, and a 20-mile mountain bike ride. This year's events will continue for an extra day. Planned for Sunday, May 27th is a gravel grinder mix covering distances of 74 and 53 miles and a family-friendly 8-mile route. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in the Friday, May 4th Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can subscribe to our podcast series on iTunes and Google Play Music. We'll have daily and weekly podcasts starting this week, so be sure to check back each day. And thanks for listening.